All right, everybody, welcome back to Risky Outdoors. Sorry for the delay in videos. We've been kind of busy getting everything started with the podcast. Uh, Nimrod Risky Outdoors. If you guys haven't already had a chance to listen, get over to riskyoutdoors.com. All the podcasts are posted on there, as well as on iTunes, simply Nimrod Risky Outdoors. Came up with the name. Nimrod, North American term, means someone with very little skill, hence us interviewing Nimrods from Michigan and the biblical term Nimrod. Nimrod was a descendant of Noah and he was known as the world's greatest hunter. So, hence North American interviewing the biblical. Um, and this episode is pretty exciting. Sandra has a chance to harvest her biggest Michigan deer to date. So, without further ado, we're going to jump right into that hunt. Stop it. You're gonna shoot. Oh my you that's not a good What are you doing? I don't see him now. I don't even see it. Oh no I do.
He's right there. I see him. Cassandra. Cassandra. Congratulations, he just fell. Stop. He just fell. <laughs> Come on, your property. Oh, you should have bucked that caliber. I can't think you enough, Phil. I'm so proud of you. I can hear them. <laughs> All right, um, tonight, Phil, let us come on this uh, area right over here because they're going out for cat pretty hard and. Um, we were sitting there for a while and bumped nothing coming in, which is pretty awesome. And we were sitting there and all of a sudden we literally just saw these bucks start chasing these does. Small bucks at first and all of a sudden this big boy just steps in. And Jordan's camera died. He just switched the camera. It was a little bit of a cluster. I had to have the gun on my knee and he is big. And I was shaking so bad. Literally Jordan found him going down. We think he's right down here. And I cannot thank the big buck killer himself, Mr. Phil Holden, because to let me kill a buck of this caliber on his property is unbelievable. So I cannot thank you enough, Phil. Oh yeah, I see it. You got the bright light off here. Look, that's where we hang on, right there in that tree. I'll go that way. I'm pretty sure that's got to be him, right? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, that's him. Oh, what deer this is. That's a nine. That's a random buck. I have no clue what buck that is. <laughs> hey, when you have a hot doe and de December 23rd, it brings deer from anywhere. Yeah, I'm. biggest Michigan buck to date. I could not be more excited. He's an eight with this little sticker, potentially a nine, um, but perfect shot. Literally tipped over probably 50 yards from where I shot him. Donkey kick, so, and then Jordan got on film right before the camera died. So I am absolutely thrilled. I seriously cannot thank Phil enough. He is definitely going on the wall. This is my biggest Michigan buck to date. It's actually been, let me think here, 13 years since I shot my last buck in Michigan. So I am so incredibly excited. Seriously cannot thank Phil enough. You, you're amazing to let me do this. I mean, he is amazing. What a cool experience. So big buck down December 23rd. Let's go. Overall, great hunt, Cassandra. I was so proud of you and being behind the camera and just being able to experience it with you. I know we do a lot of hunting on our own and self-filming whitetails. So it's pretty cool to be there with you. Um, I know it's been like 10, 11 years since you've harvested a deer in Michigan, or a buck, I should say. So, super excited, super pumped, glad we could capture it on film. Even though there was a little bit of a cluster, one camera died, had to pick up another one. Uh, I think it was due to cold weather and our batteries kind of draining quicker. So, um, overall, great hunt, great experience being out there with you. Uh, and a big thanks to Phil for allowing Cassandra and I to go out there and harvest a deer like that. So, thank you so much, Phil. We appreciate it. So. If you guys haven't, like I mentioned earlier, get over, check out the, the podcast, RiskyOutdoors.com, also on iTunes, Nimrod Risky Outdoors. We would appreciate it. And as always, thank you guys for watching Risky Outdoors.
Oh, the damn curse is over, baby. <laughs> That's my biggest deer.